I have a question. What on earth is a gaming desk? My first thought was that it's a stupid marketing concept designed to sell cheap desks to gamers. But then I thought about it a bit more and was introduced to something that might have changed my mind a bit. Let me explain. If you were to design a desk built for gaming, you would want it to be different in a few key areas. The most important being specific ergonomic enhancements and also structural rigidity before we start talking about aesthetics. See, when you're gaming, you're in a very different position than when you're typing. And when we lose or we win, we get very passionate. Enough to slam our hands on a desk pretty violently. Which brings us on to this. This is the well-priced GT Racing Tier 1 gaming desk and we're going to be reviewing it today but I have to confess something as I actually requested this desk in for review and my sole intention was to mock it relentlessly but that hasn't really gone to plan and I'm going to have to show you why by quickly going over its ease of setup, covering its features as well as gamer focus features before wrapping up this video with what I think it's missing and what I'd like to see in the next version. So GT Racing Tier 1 gaming desk review? Let's do this. So before we go over its features, let's quickly see how easy it is to build this desk. I do have experience with GT Racing products, and although they aren't especially hard or easy in terms of assembly, the one thing that I've consistently praised them for is their instruction manuals. They are just seriously top tier in terms of clarity. This means that getting the desk built really didn't take long at all, and the process really didn't involve much second guessing, but two small suggestions for you. You might want an extra pair of hands to help you get it out of the box, and don't even bother with the included screwdriver. It might as well be made out of soggy paper. But now it's built, let's go over the features and what makes this desk a gaming desk. It is a reasonably average compact size that will work with a lot of spaces, while easily fitting a 34 inch ultra wide and my small form factor gaming PC. But in terms of what the maximum amount of monitors you can fit on this is, it very much depends on how you have it set up. But I see no reason why you couldn't easily fit three 27 inch monitors overhanging with a triple monitor mount and dual monitors with their included bases would easily fit too. As for the structural stuff, the frame of the desk is pretty thick steel and the desktop itself is composite board, covered in a textured carbon fiber effect laminate and it feels extremely solid. You slam your fists in rage and this surface just won't care. Let me show you. But speaking of the surface, the carbon fiber effect feels incredibly well applied and does a really great job of almost camouflaging your cables, which I really appreciate coming from a white desk. It's also marketed as mark and scratch resistant. However, I feel like that might be an exaggeration as mine did come with a couple blemishes and it is also reasonably easy to mark the surface. So I have no doubt that watch is going to wear through the edge over time like most other desks. So watch out for that. But otherwise water spills didn't really affect the desk at all. And outside of accidents, it does come with a one to two year warranty, though I'm still not sure or what subscribe us means. So front and center of the desk is a large cutout that allows you to get even closer into your monitor if you need to, or just accommodate a big boy belly. I'm not judging, but that's not the best thing about the front of the desk. The best thing is this very subtle angle. One of the problems that I have with my current desk is I type light with my arms barely touching the edge. But when I game, my left arm is basically planted where it needs to be. And this not only causes a lot of pressure to build up in my wrist, but the corner of the desk also very quickly starts digging into my arm. However, with the GT Racing Tier 1 gaming desk, this little angle and the rounded corners fix this issue for me entirely. And maybe the most gaming focused feature of any desk ever. Absolutely well done for this. Moving over to the sides of the surface, you get red plastic accents that aim to add to the gamer appearance with nicely matched headset hangers underneath them. My first thought was, why two? But then again, you may use a headset for gaming and headphones for everything else. And if not, you can always just install one. I'd rather have the option than not. But included further up the sides are optional decorative pieces that could hold small items like screws, or you could just leave them off. But if you do, the mounting holes will be visible. But another thing that I really appreciate about the desk is the amount of thought that's gone into cable management. Let me show you. At the back of the desk, you have a pretty large cutout for routing cables, which surprisingly isn't that common among desks, but absolutely should be. And underneath that, there's a big integrated cable management holder with forward facing pass-throughs. This thing is absolutely big enough for your six port surge protectors and all your cables. But what this means is that cable management was basically wire everything up and just shove it into the holder. It really was as simple as that. And lastly, there's a controller holder and included optional monitor riser made out of the same steel and composite board as the main surface, being incredibly strong while also clamping to the underside of the desk. This means that it's stable enough for basically anything, including desk mounted monitor arms. But a happy little side effect of monitor risers is that they hide your cables really quite well, even if you don't use them as intended. So that's quite a lot. And that leads me on to why I can't really mock this desk the way I intended to, as honestly, I thought it was going to be a black and red poorly made piece of shit with a couple of headset hangers attached, but that's not really the case. Does it look unnecessarily over the top generic hardcore gamer star? Absolutely. But does it have elements that genuinely improve the gaming experience while using it? 
Actually, yeah it does. Other than being almost indestructibly sturdy, the gaming focus features I appreciated the most were mainly the front slope and soft corners for ergonomics, the headset hangers and the cable management integration. But there are a few things that I'd like to see updated in the next version. Number one, give me color choices that are not just carbon and red. That's almost offensively stereotypical. Monochrome, black with dark gray accents would be my first choice. Number two, an optional lower ledge that attaches to the inside or outside of either leg so that you can raise your PC above the floor to protect it against dust. And number three, all headset hangers need to be curved. That's just common sense. And cable pass-throughs in the legs to hide the remaining cables would be the cherry on the cake. Otherwise, I would really like an integrated USB hub and RGB strip that I can plug into, but I appreciate that you're not getting those features at this price. Oh, did I mention? It's like $160. That's only slightly more than my budget desk from Amazon. And not only are you getting much more for your money, it's absolutely better built. This thing is an absolute tank. So I'd say if you like the look of it and the dimensions work for you, it does get my recommendation. And I'm going to drop a link below to the best places to buy this desk, including discount codes for you so that you can save a bit of money. They do also have an RGB version too, if you want some added flair. So get subscribed with notifications to make sure that you don't miss upcoming videos. The next one should be a really interesting CPU cooler face-off. Otherwise, a like is always appreciated and I will see you in the next one.